Hello and welcome, this is Rob from Z Panel Community. Today we're going to show you how to install a copy of Magento on a ZPX server running on CentOS. The first thing you want to do is uh, download the latest copy from their website, magentoecommerce.com. I'm going to download the community edition and I'm going to select the latest file I want. I want a zip file and I start to download. Now on their website you need to register. For this uh, tutorial I already downloaded the latest copy anyway and I'm going to drop on my desktop. There we go, that's the latest one. I'll come here and all I want to do is extract the content of the file on the desktop. Just a second there. Now it's extracted. I'm going to pause this video for a second until it's done. Anyway, while is extracting, don't forget to visit us on our website zpanelcp.com and please just come in the forums. Any questions you have or any video you want actually want me to do or you know anything, just come here and come in the general chat and post anything you want. Also, don't forget to visit us on youtube.com forward slash man goldwin. This is the actual channel. Uh, this is where I put all my videos. It looks like it's done. I just, that's it. Yeah, all's done. Now, what I want to do is I want to upload. The entire content of this folder on the server. Now I'm going to use a program called FileZilla. And let me see. I'm going to use one of my demo domains that I have set up. I'm going to use CMS Tutorials DK. I highlight the lot here and I'll upload to the server. While it's uploading, I am going to pause this video so it takes a long, long time. There are about 12,000 uh, files. Right, it's nearly done. Um, just doing a lot of things here. Uh, while it's still uploading some of the files anyway, I'm going to start to uh, create the database uh, in Z panel control panel. So I log in the actual Z panel, create a MySQL database, and I'm going to call Magento. Then I'm going to create a user for that database. Again, I'm going to call it Magento. Select the database and press create. Now, as you can see here, everything is done anyway. I'll uh, minimize this because I might need future. Uh, that's the, the name of the uh, the user and that's the password that I'm going to use for the 
installation. Um, I'm going to click on CMS tutorials and that should be up and running now as you can see here. So let's start the installation. I press the agreement here and I press continue. I'm going to choose for your own area logically. For my area it's going to be United Kingdom. Time is going to be Europe somewhere, London, I suppose. That's it, and the currency, British pound. Then continue. We want MySQL, localhost, and database name in my case is uh, just in case you don't know uh, which one it is very simple just go to the database again mysql database and that's the name of the database you can copy and paste if you wanted to or you just if you, you know if you remember that's a different thing database name paste there this name is magento and the password is this one here. I'll copy and paste. For the prefix, I leave it blank. For the rest, if you know what you're doing, I mean, I'm gonna run an SSL. Uh, use Webers, you know, rewrites if you need to, and all the rest. I, for this demonstration, I'm leaving as it is, as default. I'm going to save the database and continue. So it's done. Uh, now what you need to do is write your name here. And continue. Copy this one and make sure that you keep it safe. And job is done. Now, this is the front end. And this is the back end. I'm going to log in with the credentials I put earlier on. Say no here. I'll press close there. And that's it. This is the actual dashboard for the admin. I hope you enjoy this. Uh, little tutorial don't forget to come to our channel subscribe and any comments because over here what I done I have disabled the comments you can come to our Z panel CP dot com Come to the forums and any problems, any video you want to see, just come to the general chat and post anything you want. Again, thank you very much for this, for your time for this tutorial and I'll see you next time.